What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about season 4 of The Mandalorian. But before we do get into all of that, remember hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars. Don't forget I have a membership program that I just did an update to so make sure to join one of them as the tiers are simply amazing and I've updated them so definitely go check them out so you get to get behind the scene footage and go live with me on my daily content. Go check out the merch store as I do have Eternal Sith merch that you definitely want to go check out and as always once you're done watching this video Go check out my last one. Give it a thumbs up as you watch. Let's start the show. Welcome to the show with the eternal self. Every visit banger, best believe he don't mess. Do me a favor, drop us up and keep tuning in. If you like what you see, go and share with your friends. So as we haven't even talked about on this channel for The Mandalorian in a long, long time since The Mandalorian Season 3 did finish, we're back and we're at it and it's in the news again with Filoni announcing at Star Wars Celebration in Europe that The Mandoverse would be culminating in an epic crossover movie. Now with a release date having yet to be confirmed, the film will connect the Disney shows including Skeleton Crew, The Mandalorian, Ahsoka, and even The Book of Boba Fett. Now, leading into this highly anticipated team-up event, of course, Season 4 of The Mandalorian would be the next big thing. But with the state of Hollywood looking especially grim at the moment, and there are a lot of rumors that are stirring up at Lucasfilm, and a lot of people are wondering when it's going to be coming out, if we'll see new episodes at Disney Plus any time soon but Favreau has previously stated that scripts had already been written prior to the WGA strike but Lucasfilm has yet to confirm its fourth season renewal officially and according to a new report from making Star Wars this may be a good reason as Hollywood grinds to halt and strike push on Disney and Lucasfilm are reportedly weighing in and weighing their options when it comes to making season four of the Mandalorian which could result into a season four Mando film meaning that we won't be getting a season four it'll automatically turn into the Mandalorian movie so right after season three we know we're getting the Ahsoka series and then we're getting the skeleton crew later this year which makes total sense why this could be a wrap up and we get the Mandalorian movie but the bigger question is what happens to season four and five because we do know that Pedro Pascal did sign on for another three years after season two of the Mandalorian was done so now does this contract still get extended maybe to be in other shows that they have potentially planned for the next upcoming installment or now does his contract get altered somehow just for this movie but you know there is a lot of questions as well with the Ahsoka series because there is rumor that there will be a season two of of that so there is a lot of questions up at Lucasfilm since the strike has happened but a lot of these new claims that Lucasfilm and its parent company might be considering turning the fourth season like I said into a movie and again you know if this is true it could explain why Lucasfilm has been so hush about any movement on any of these Disney Plus series and it would make sense why when Bob Iger gave his announcement about kind of like taking a seat back with the Marvel and Star Wars shows because there's been a quote-unquote oversaturation of them which I would say more on the Marvel side not really the Star Wars or Lucasfilm side but it's okay hey I'm all for it if we're gonna get a movie out of all of this and we're just gonna focus on what is to come I'm all game for that because because again, we know that the Mandalorian movie is going to be the culmination of everything. So if they want to sit there and give us Ahsoka, Skeleton Crew, and then the movie, or it could be Ahsoka, Skeleton Crew, and season two of the Ahsoka series, because we know that we're going to be getting a lot with the Ahsoka series season one, I'm pretty sure they're going to need to use, you know, a season two to kind of finish the story out, or maybe they will do a season four. But again, this is all rumor and speculation. But guys, comment down below. Does it make sense for you? Does it make sense to to just go right into it and do a season four after the Ahsoka series and Skeleton Crew or would you still want to see a season four of The Mandalorian as I know I would I would still want to see what's going on now and how Mandalore is looking I mean there's a lot of rumor that Moff Gideon didn't die so I would still love to see the continuation of that story and then dive into the New Republic now that we do have with Grand Admiral Thrawn and the Ghost Crew but comment down below light it up let me know your thoughts and theories on this potential news 
of The Mandalorian Season 4 turning into a movie. For more Star Wars content, hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know as I'll have more content out tomorrow. Don't forget, I have a membership program. Definitely you want to join. There's three tiers. I just updated them, and I will be going live behind the scenes, so make sure to join the membership program so you can check on the community post for members only, the live stream link for that, and I will be talking about everything Star Wars in more in-depth details. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Don't forget the Eternal Sith. Then, now, forever. Later, guys.